Hi, welcome back. So this is a quick video showing a uh, what not to do guide when you get yourself a nice little cover for your Game Boy uh, and you're going to bring it back to life and it's all good, everything's great with the world and you stick it on and realise you haven't taken the cover off. <laughs> it was not my proudest moment. I stuck it on, uh, I was sort of, well I don't know, I was distracted, not paying attention and uh, yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful thing, it's lovely, but unfortunately, I can't see anything at all. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's not great. So I'm gonna have to open this up again and see whether it's possible to correct that from the other side. Now, um, I did actually buy a proper specific screwdriver for, for this because it's a it's a very odd screw it's like um uh, it's a three pronged screw so um actually i don't have this this is a small set i've actually got one of those larger multi tool things let's just grab that and i think i've got one in here so Let's see if we can find it. Um, do, 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 there's all these weird things here. There might be, is it that one? This is like a sort of, you know, trident thing. Oh, that's too big. Um, well, let's keep looking. It's not there, it's not there. Like I say, I, I bought a special tool for it. When I bought the uh, the label, it came with a special tool, but um, I'm not sure where that's gone, which is not helpful. Uh, might be that one there. Yeah, this has got three prongs on it. Let's see where that fits. Yeah, that fits. Okay, so let's give that some, some treatment. Oh, that works. So I don't think this Game Boy has ever been opened. Potentially. Is there one under there as well? Yeah, there is. It looks like there's six screws. I do like this set. I like it because um, it's got a lot of bits, but I'll. But that's but that rotates, which makes it a bit easier. The only problem with this, you don't really get the torque. On my other screwdriver, you've got the actual shaft is is bigger, so you can get a bit more torque on it. But it's it's a, it's a tricky one because for some of these bits, especially ones that are quite fine, uh, let me just undo this and I'll show you. So if you if you're using, for example, this really 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 fine one, really fine then the mechanical advantage on that is is fine okay if you if you had a bigger one uh, a, a wider shaft then you'd get even more torque on it and you'd probably mash the end up so this kind of um in some ways it's kind of sort of self regulating um this is going to be your own net right that's those two and there's more uh, okay anyway so that's the inside there and I think yeah that's just as I as, as I thought so what's it what's inside there is a standard um, cross head so we've got to find a standard cross head uh, I think that one will do and there's a bucket load of screws <laughs> my god one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and some catches as well by the look of it so i think all of these have got to come off and then there might be it might be possible to take the sticky off the back of the <laughs> screen oh it was not my proudest moment oh well never mind 
hopefully this will sort it out. I remember when I got this thing, it was fantastic. I mean, it's, it's a, there's no backlight. It is, it's, it's mono. Uh, you know, it's in some ways it's not, it's, it's nowhere near as good as my links in many, many ways, but the battery life was amazing. And for long journeys, especially during the day, it's a bit tricky at night. Oh no. It was uh, unbeatable. I can't tell you how much Tetris I played on it, loads. Um, I also played the uh, Star Trek game, which I really enjoyed, but I found it so difficult. There was a bit on there where you you have to steer the, the Starship Enterprise through a an asteroid field. And um, it's just so difficult. It's one of those things that you, you have to do it so much. It's just annoying. And it really impeded progress, I found. Right, so let's see whether... Oh, that's not coming up there. Is there anything, any other catches? So that catches off, I think. Yeah, that catches off. That one's off. No other screws that I can see. Nothing on the front there. There's something that seems to be held there. Well, maybe it is still reluctant to give that other catch up. Mm. Okay. I push it from that way. It's not stuck down, is it? It almost feels like it's actually stuck down somehow. Mm. Can't see anything else on there. Uh, don't put a screw in there, it says. Well, I won't do that. I wonder what's holding that down. I might have to take this connector off. I really don't want to start messing with connectors if I can possibly... Oh, hang on. Nope. Possibly avoid it. I wonder whether it's that there. That is very odd. There's like two pieces of metal that stick up. Well, I can start to see underneath there. Wow. I wonder what's stopping it. You can do that and you can see the board flexing when you when you do it. It's almost as if there was another screw, but I can't see it anywhere. Yeah, there's a there's actually a screw head there. And a screw head there. And one there. Going through the board, but that other way. It's below the screen position. There must be something else connected to it. Right, I'm going to pause a second and just check something. Right, yeah, so I've been checking stuff. And apparently you're supposed to do it from this side. The board is stuck down. The display is stuck down. So, yeah. I'm not sure. I don't think you should take all of the let's put this back. I don't think you should take all of these out. I say that whoops, can't do that which I say that because there's a plastic retainer, so it says E there. E and E so you don't take these out I don't think because that's actually the the display the board display so you keep E in there so I was a bit over enthusiastic so it should 
Oh, I'm not sure about that actually. No, that, that doesn't feel right. That's what the instructions said. I'm not sure about that. There we go. Oh, it makes some horrible noises. You want the board to come out with. I'll just take it off anyway. And if it flaps about, it flaps about. Oh, there we go. So there's just a bit of adhesive there. So yeah, patience is the is the key. So there's there's a thing. So that's a useful um, opportunity to clean it. Now, unfortunately, I think I don't think I'm going to be able to get to the adhesive backing. I was hoping I'd be able to get to the adhesive backing on there and scrape it back, but I can push this out. Oy, and the buttons go in there. So this was the mistake that I made. I didn't. Didn't take this off. There we go. So that's supposed to come off before you get too over enthusiastic and put the bloody thing on. <laughs> so yeah, that's a lesson learned. Um, now. I'm going to put that there. I have to wipe this again. So, uh, did I lose any of those? Yeah, I've got a um, a purple button that's disappeared somewhere. There it is. Okay, let's try that again. Now, if I get some very, very gentle tissue. And we got an opportunity to clean the edge of that. I'm going to be very gentle. I don't want to leave anything behind or whatever, but that's, that's an opportunity. So, again with this, I'll be careful because there's still adhesive around the rest of this. Make sure that the fingerprints are only on that side. So that's good. I'm probably going to dump all these out, actually, but... So I had previously cleaned the adhesive on that, but it's probably good enough. So if I put that on there and then do that, I imagine there's probably enough adhesive power to deal with that. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Okay, good. So now it's a case of bleh. look at that, that's horrible. Now it's a case of cleaning this up. I mean, I really should do something with this, I suppose. Now that it's out, but it's it's good enough. It doesn't need to be messed about with too much. I'm going to clean the inside. That looks a bit manky, but I'm reluctant to do anything too abrasive or chemical or anything. It just doesn't need it. Okay, so that goes in there. So that rocker goes in there and there's a rubber pad with the conductive pads around it. And then these go in here. These go in here like that. Just gonna wipe these a bit because they've got a little bit manky. And the other one. Be very gentle with these because these are quite delicate. <sighs> Thankfully, the um, rubber hasn't perished particularly. So that goes in there like that. And again, you can see the conductive pads. I think you have to make sure that they're all lined up nice. Okay, that's good. It's not quite on. There you go. So that's that repaired, which is good. Well, repaired, reassembled, which is good. So this, this circuit board is gonna come back on here. And into place. 
and make sure that the speaker is actually also in there. It's got like a keyway and stuff. Um, Put those down. Okay, good. So now it's a million screws that have got to go back in. One nice thing is that all these screws are actually uh, gold, well, gold colour. It means you'll, um, it's easy to identify. We never know, perhaps there is a gold, I'm sure there is a gold Game Boy somewhere. Some crazy people with more money than sense. Okay, almost there. <sighs> Got any more down there? Yeah, three more, good. Three more holes, three more screws. So that's nice, everything adds up. So when we've done that, we'll just flip it over and make sure all the buttons are properly seated. Wow, look at that. Fantastic, it's all shiny. Okay, that's good. Okay, that looks good. And now we're back to the peculiar bit. Actually, all these screws are the same. They, they, these ones look to be different, the ones inside the battery case. But no, they're all identical, so that's good. Makes it easy. I know where I've, I've usually I've got a copy of uh, Super Mario. It's usually in there. I don't know what I've done with that. It's around somewhere. Okay, that's good. Let's get some batteries. Hmm. That's weird. That R is there, but it's not. Well, I really should have filmed that after a couple of false starts. <laughs> it wasn't actually starting up properly, um, but it is working all right now. I uh, basically squirted a whole bunch of, there you go, whole bunch of um, contact cleaner in there and it worked fine. So uh, yeah. Well, it's, it is quite cool with this thing. It's, um, I'm not gonna share my son doing this because he just criticised how bad I am. Anyway, I love the fact that it's chunky. Anyway, you get the idea. It's cool. So yeah, if you make the same stupid mistake that I made, 
then um, you can take it to pieces and um, yeah because you ain't going to see much like that but with this it's actually playable see you again cheers